Imagine this, a fighter jet that behaves like a multi-tool ready to adapt to any mission simply by swapping out its components. This is the F-A-18 Hornet, a marvel of modern military aviation designed to be the Swiss Army knife of the skies. Much like a power drill with different attachments, the Hornet can be reconfigured depending on whether it's engaging enemy aircraft or targeting ground positions. Since its introduction in 1983, the F-A-18 has been a critical asset to the U.S. Navy and Marine Corps, thanks to its versatility, adaptability, and superior combat capabilities. By the late 1970s, military aviation was evolving, and the U.S. Navy needed a fighter that could not only excel in aerial combat, but also strike ground targets effectively. Prior aircraft, like the F-4 Phantom, had proven capable. But the demands of modern warfare required something more adaptable, something that could be customized on the fly for multiple roles. This need led to the development of the F-A-18, which became the first U.S. aircraft purpose built for both air-to-air -air combat and air-to-ground attacks. At the heart of this transformation is the F-A-18's design philosophy, flexibility. The plane's stations or storage areas located on its belly and wings can carry a variety of payloads. These include air-to-air -air missiles for aerial dogfights or bombs, and extra fuel tanks for ground attack missions. This ability to switch between configurations makes the F-A-18 adaptable to the ever-changing needs of the battlefield. What truly elevates the Hornet above its contemporaries is its engineering. Powered by two F414-GE-400 afterburning turbofan engines, the FA-18 can generate an impressive 22,000 pounds of thrust per engine, reaching speeds of Mach 1.7, about 563 meters per second. Whether it's outmaneuvering enemy aircraft or zooming away after a bombing run, the Hornet's high performance makes it one of the most formidable aircraft in the U.S. arsenal. Its impressive climb rate and top speed allow it to engage enemies at high altitudes and make quick tactical retreats when necessary. The F-A-18's engines represent more than just raw power. They embody decades of propulsion technology breakthroughs. The afterburning turbofan engines used in the Hornet are descendants of earlier turbofan models, benefiting from post-World War II jet engine research that prioritize not only speed, but also fuel efficiency and durability under extreme conditions. The F-A-18's ability to reach speeds of Mach 1.7 isn't just about straight-line velocity. It's about being able to sustain high-speed maneuvers while maintaining agility in combat. The engines were also designed to ensure reliability during naval operations, where conditions are harsh and maintenance opportunities are limited. High-speed thrust, crucial in air-to-air -air combat, had to be balanced with the need to carry heavy ground attack payloads, making the Hornet's engine configuration a fine example of engineering precision. Newer variants of the F-A-18, especially the Block III Super Hornet, have seen significant upgrades to their engines and aerodynamics. These improvements not only allow for faster climb rates and higher thrust-to-weight ratios, but also extend the aircraft's operational lifespan. The Block III Super Hornet is now expected to remain in service well into the 2040 CES, thanks to a life extension program that pushes its flight hours from 6,000 to 10,000 hours. The avionics suite in the F-A-18 was revolutionary when introduced, blending cutting-edge sensor systems with pilot-friendly interfaces. This wasn't just about adding technology for technology's sake. The systems had to enhance the pilot's situational awareness and combat effectiveness. The NAVFLIR and ATFLIR systems, critical for night and all-weather operations, allowed the Hornet to conduct precision strikes where other aircraft struggled. These advancements came during a period when night warfare was becoming increasingly common and the ability to fight in adverse conditions was essential for military operations like those in the Persian Gulf. The digital fly-by-wire system was a breakthrough in aerospace engineering, providing unprecedented control and reducing pilot workload, making the Hornet not only versatile, but also exceptionally forgiving in high-stress combat scenarios.
This was a significant departure from earlier mechanical control systems, which were prone to human error and physical stress from combat maneuvers. The synthetic aperture radar, providing real-time ground mapping, was another critical advancement that gave the F-A-18 an edge in ground strike operations, allowing pilots to engage ground targets with pinpoint accuracy even in environments shrouded by fog, smoke, or darkness. The F-A-18's ability to carry a wide range of ordnance is another key to its success. From air-to-air -air missiles like the AIM-9 Sidewinder to advanced GPS-guided bombs, the Hornet can tailor its armament to any mission. One of its most iconic weapons is the M61A2 Vulcan Cannon, a 20-millimeter rotary cannon capable of firing up to 6,000 rounds per minute. This versatile cannon allows the F-A-18 to engage in close air support and dogfights alike, providing formidable firepower in any situation. The variety of ordnance that the F-A-18 can carry is not just a technical marvel, but a reflection of the changing nature of warfare in the 1980s and beyond. As conflicts like the Falklands War and the Gulf War demonstrated, versatility in payload was essential to conducting a wide array of missions, from close air support to long-range precision strikes. The Hornet's weapons stations can accommodate an incredible diversity of munitions, from the AIM-120 AMROM, designed for beyond visual range combat, to precision-guided munitions like the AGM-65 Maverick, which became essential in desert combat where precise high-value target destruction was necessary. Since its introduction, the F-A-18 has undergone numerous upgrades to improve its capabilities. The Super Hornet, designated as F-A-18EF, represents a significant leap forward. With larger fuel capacity, increased thrust, and a longer mission range, the Super Hornet is more capable than its predecessors. Its larger wing area and additional weapon stations give it even greater payload flexibility, allowing it to carry heavier loads, such as the Joint Direct Attack Munition, JDM, and Joint Standoff Weaponry, JSOW. The transformation of the FA-18 into the Super Hornet was more than just an upgrade. It was a response to the evolving strategic requirements of the 1990s and early 2000s. As conflicts became more asymmetric, with non-state actors and unconventional warfare becoming the norm, the Super Hornet's enhanced range and payload capacity ensured that it could meet the demands of extended missions without compromising on firepower. The increase in internal fuel capacity was a direct response to the limitations faced by the original Hornet in long-range missions, allowing for deeper penetration into enemy territory without refueling. Additionally, the Super Hornet's redesigned airframe, with a larger wing area and improved aerodynamics, allowed it to carry more advanced weaponry while maintaining the agility needed for air-to-air -air engagements. The Super Hornet also integrated stealth features, such as radar absorbent materials and reduced radar cross-section, ensuring that it could evade enemy radar more effectively. A crucial advancement as surface-to-air missile technology improved globally. The F-A-18's success on the international stage is a testament to the aircraft's reliability and adaptability in various geopolitical contexts. Australia, for instance, selected the Hornet as part of its defense modernization program in the 1980s, as it sought to replace its aging fleet of mirages with an aircraft that could meet the challenges posed by rising regional tensions in Southeast Asia. Canada, facing vast Arctic patrol requirements, valued the F-A-18's all-weather capabilities and versatility, while Spain needed a modern fighter capable of defending its airspace during a time when NATO was expanding its presence in Europe. The Hornet's role in Operation Desert Storm, where it famously shot down Iraqi MiGs while still completing its bombing mission, cemented its reputation as a dependable, high-performing aircraft. As warfare evolves, so too does the F-A-18. The Navy plans to retire older electronic warfare aircraft like the EA-6B Prowler, replacing them with the F-A-18G Growler, a specialized version of the Super Hornet equipped for electronic jamming and escort missions. 
The Growler will further enhance the FA-18's legacy by adding a modern suite of electronic warfare capabilities while maintaining the combat flexibility that has made the Hornet so successful. The FA-18 Hornet is more than just a fighter jet. It is the embodiment of modern military adaptability. With its ability to shift between roles, advanced avionics, and powerful engines, the Hornet represents a pinnacle of military engineering. Whether dogfighting in the skies or delivering precision strikes on ground targets, the FA-18 continues to serve as an indispensable asset in the U.S. and allied military forces. Its design philosophy, emphasizing flexibility and upgradability, ensures that the Hornet will remain a dominant force in the air for years to come.